Have you ever wanted to create your own children's book, but had no idea where to start? No clue how to write it? No idea how to draw it? Thought it would take months or cost a fortune? What if I told you you could do it all? The story, the pictures, even a full animated video in just a few minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you something that feels almost unreal. A powerful AI tool that turns your ideas, no matter how simple, into a beautiful, professional storybook. And yes, you can sell it. You can post it on YouTube. You can even start earning passive income while you sleep. Write an entire story from scratch. Create cute, fun characters your kids will love. Get stunning illustrations in seconds. Turn it into a full video with just a few clicks. This could be the easiest and most fun thing you've done all year. Let's get started. Your first story is waiting. The first step is to open Google and type Read Kids into the search bar. Press Enter and then click on the first website that appears in the search results. Once the page loads, you'll be taken to the Read Kids website interface. Read Kids is an AI-powered platform designed to revolutionize storytelling. Whether you're a parent looking for personalized bedtime stories or a teacher aiming to bring your lessons to life, this tool offers a fast, fun, and surprisingly powerful way to engage young readers. Getting started is easy. Begin by creating a free account. Just click on the Try for Free button and sign up using your email address. Once you're logged in, the homepage will guide you clearly on where to start. Scroll down to explore trending books, user-created stories, and official content. It's a great way to get inspired and discover the full potential of what you can create with Read Kids. Click on the home menu where you'll see two options, quick drawing and AI picture book. The quick drawing feature is used to create single illustrations while the AI picture book option allows you to create full picture books. In this tutorial, we'll focus on the AI picture book feature. Once you select it, you'll see two more options, use my story and AI generate. Since we don't have a story ready yet, we'll go with the AI generate option. Clicking this will open a pop-up window asking whether you want to create a single book or a book series. For this tutorial, we'll start with a single book. Once selected, you'll be taken to the main interface where the creation process begins. At this stage, you can customize several settings to tailor your story. First, set the reader's age. For this tutorial, I'll choose 9 to 12 years old. Next, you can select a story type from the available options. I'll go with magical adventure, but there are plenty of other genres to explore based on your preference. You'll also see additional settings like chronological order, point of view. In this section, you'll see an option to choose between non-anthropomorphic and anthropomorphic animals. Non-anthropomorphic means the animals will appear in their original, natural form, while anthropomorphic refers to animals with human-like characteristics, such as walking upright or wearing clothes. For this tutorial, I'll select non-anthropomorphic to keep the animals in a more realistic style. You'll also have the option to choose the video ratio. For this tutorial, I'll select the 16 to 9 aspect ratio, which is ideal for most screens and provides a widescreen viewing experience. Once all your preferences are set, you'll find a story box where you need to write a short description or idea for the story. After entering a brief summary of your story idea, click on the AI Generate button to continue. Read Kids' advanced AI engine will immediately begin processing your input, transforming it into a structured picture book script complete with narrative elements and visual scene suggestions. This process typically takes just a few seconds, and once it's complete, you'll move on to the next step, character extraction. Click on the Extract Character button and a pop-up window will appear. Here, you'll be asked to confirm the character roles that the AI has identified in your story. Take a moment to review the roles and ensure everything looks accurate. Once you're satisfied, click Confirm Roles to proceed. This step helps the AI understand which characters are central to your story so it can generate appropriate illustrations for each one. Next, you'll be guided to choose the visual style of your picture book. Read Kids offers two main categories, classic and official. Each category contains a variety of visual themes ranging from simple sketches to rich 3D designs. Browse through the available styles to see what best fits the tone and mood of your story. 
For this tutorial, I'll be selecting the 3D pixel style from the official section. This style gives the book a playful, game-like aesthetic that appeals especially well to young readers in the 9 to 12 age group. Once you've selected the desired book style, click Next to continue. Now comes the exciting part, character image generation. Based on your story, the AI will have identified the main characters. In our example, there are three characters, Max, Leo, and a third character yet to be named. Start by selecting the first character, Max, and click Generate. The AI will then produce four different visual interpretations of Max review the options and select the one that best represents the character's personality and role in the story. Repeat this process for Leo and the third character in the same way, selecting and generating images, then choosing your favorite from the AI-generated options. After finalizing all the character visuals, click Next to proceed to the Book Pages section. Here, Read Kids AI will have automatically generated for illustrated image options for every single page of your picture book. This sample book is 16 pages long, so take your time as you carefully go through each page and select the image that best illustrates the story content for that specific scene. This selection process is crucial for maintaining visual coherence and emotional impact throughout the book. Once all images have been selected, scroll down and click Next to proceed to the final editing stage. In the final step, you'll be able to customize the text overlay for each image. This includes editing the text content itself, changing the font style, adjusting font size, and repositioning the text anywhere on the image. This flexibility allows you to design the perfect layout and ensure the text complements the visuals without overwhelming them. Carefully review and adjust the text on every page to get it just right. With the visuals and text finalized, it's time to add voiceover narration. Click on the microphone icon to access ReadKids' built-in voice options. You can listen to a variety of AI-generated voices and select the one that matches your story's tone, whether it's warm and gentle, energetic, or dramatic. Once you've chosen a voice, select five pages at a time and click Generate Audio. Repeat this process for the remaining pages to complete the voiceover for the entire book. At this point, your picture book is almost ready to share. You can choose to download your story as a PDF, which is great for printing or offline reading, and you can also save individual images if you'd like to use them elsewhere. When you're ready to create the video version, click on the Generate Video button. Before finalizing the video, you'll be given options to adjust key settings such as transition effects, animation styles, and background music. These elements add polish and emotion to your video, enhancing the storytelling experience. Choose the settings that best complement your narrative. Once you've finished setting everything up, click Generate. The rendering process will take a few minutes, and once completed, your fully animated picture book video will be ready to download, share, or present. The Dragon's Guardian Max walked through the ancient forest, leaves soft beneath his feet. Something strange pulled him deeper into the trees. Under a giant oak tree, Max saw a glowing egg, big, round, and shining with colors like jewels. He gently picked it up. The egg was warm. What are you? Max whispered, tucking it into his backpack. At home, Max kept the egg safe in a box with blankets. Three days later, it began to hatch. Crack! A tiny dragon peeked out, shiny, scaly, and curious. Max smiled. I'll call you Leo. And that's it. Your picture book is now complete and ready to share as a video, PDF, or image set. As you've seen, Read Kids makes it incredibly easy to bring your stories to life with just a few clicks. If you enjoyed this tutorial and want to unlock even more features, like unlimited story generation, premium book styles, and advanced voiceover options, consider choosing a Read Kids subscription plan. 
It's the best way to take your storytelling to the next level. Thanks for watching and happy creating.